Hey everyone, it's Jenny. Happy Monday. So, as you can tell from the thumbnail, I've got three different influencer boxes. So, let me lift them up here so you can see. Three of them. These are all from influencer. So, let's see what's in sh inside, shall we? Let's just see. So, again, I've done quite a few influencer unboxings on my channel. But again, if you are new here and this is your first time hearing about influencer, they um there's they have an app you can go to the website which i'll link down below you can sign up totally free and you just put in your demographics like your age where you live if you're single or married if you have pets if you have kids yada 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 and then they may find certain things um certain products for you to be able to try for free from food skincare hair care makeup pet products They've given furniture, they've given refrigerators out to people, mattresses. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Now, you may not, you may not be eligible for all of these. They, they will randomly pick you. Um, some of them, they have box boxes. Now, something they've done here recently and they've done a lot of is if you are eligible to get a free item and um, you usually have to get in within so many seconds because they go quick but um it's super easy to sign up it's a really great way to try products um i've been with them i want to say since 2013 2014 i've been with them quite a while absolutely love influencer um i've gotten a lot of great products i've gotten some products that have not really been that great but again that's that's sort of what they want you to do they want you to try the product test the product review the product now, you don't necessarily have to do videos of them, but they do like if you, you know, post on Instagram is a big one. Um, and, of course, doing a review on it. Those are like the two main things you, you need to do. And then the end survey that they give you. Anywho, so uh, first, this is from Westman Atelier. I think I'm saying that right. If I'm wrong, somebody please correct me. But I think it's Westman Atelier. I think that's how that's pronounced. I have never tried, I know they're a makeup brand, a beauty brand. I haven't never tried anything from Westman Atelier. And some boxes are like, you know, they'll have their own like from the brand or what have you. And this is their Lip Suede Matte Lipstick, which looks very pretty. And it looks like it comes in quite a few shades. So it says makeup that does more. Feel skin that feel, feel for skin that feels as good as it looks by renowned makeup artist Gucci Westman. And it says, this is a hydrating matte lipstick infused with hyaluronic acid and peptides to plump lips and soften lines, nourishing vi vivid pigment that doesn't feather, and cushiony effort, cushy comfort, effortless glide, and hyper pigmented, plump nourish and smooth with a blend of peptides, vitamin C, and hydro suede technology, a volumizing moisture locking system that delivers matte pigment sleek refillable packaging with a mirrored cap for the on for on go applications okay that's interesting available in 10 shades from sephora and .com. so those are the shades i wonder what shade i got <clears throat> this is in i think it's called pip and i think it may be a red and this does feel like when you look at it in the box something you would definitely get at sephora it's okay that it's very weighted i will give it that <clears throat> excuse me it's definitely got that feel to it sort of that expensive feel if you know what i mean and oh wait a second oh look at that it's a magnet how cool is it? okay that that gets me okay and oh look it's got hearts on the on the lipstick itself is that not adorable i absolutely okay that got me right there. That got me right there. Now it's a made ma suede matte lipstick. My brain just went haywire there. And I know it says, so there is like a little mirror in here as well, which is pretty neat. So I guess if you were, I mean, it's very tiny. I will say that, but if you were in desperation, you could definitely um, use it. But again, I love the magnetic closure that's just okay love that especially if you have it in your purse so i'm gonna actually use the mirror in my car here 
and let's let's apply it let's see what it looks like my lips are a little dry i did not use my lip scrub last night shame on me <laughs> okay it's a nice shade of red it's got a nice smell to it as well Now I need to blot. I don't want to have lipstick on my teeth, but I do like it. I do think it's a very pretty shade of red. It's in the shade Pip. Uh, yeah, okay. Westman Atelier lipstick. What do y'all think? Again, I'll lift this up as well. Again, the little hearts on here, adorables. It feels comfortable on the lips. It definitely, it doesn't feel like a satin lipstick, but it definitely feels like a more matte lipstick. But again, my lips are not, I definitely should have did a lip scrub and stuff, maybe even before doing this video. But I do like the color. I do think it's very pretty. Okay. So far, so good. I'll have to give it a definite wear test to see how I really, you know, how I really feel about it. Packaging's nice. Um, It's probably... I would say at least 20 plus dollars. Um, if I find it, I'll link it down below in the description box. <clears throat> okay, did it give the price on here? I don't think it did. No, but if I, I I'll, I'll, should be able to find it if it's on Sephora and put it down below. Okay, so next is from Tom Ford. I think this is perfume, but I don't think they gave me a full size which is a little bit disappointing, but I did get a full size um, Victor and Rolf, one of their newer fragrances. I don't think I did a video on that one. And it's got the cute like Tom Ford paper. So sometimes influencer really makes you feel kind of fancy when you get this, like, oh, it's almost like a PR box. You know what I'm saying? And this is from Tom Ford and Tom Ford Oud Mineral. I don't know if I said that right. Old Mineral. Um, it merges rich old notes with refreshing oceanic minerality. A surge of smoky woods embraces sensual skin gripping musk for a contrasting fusion of elements. The warmth of Ode is spiked with a wave of fresh pink peppercorn, as for balsam and ambergris balance earthy and marine inflections. Okay, the key notes are marine notes, Ode blend. And Burgess Accord. I probably butchered that severely. I'm sorry. Um, it's a lot of fancy talk. Let's just see what it smells like, shall we? This is when I wish I had some vision. And they gave me three samples, like sample sizes. Um, which, if I don't like the fragrance, that's going to be great. And now, if I did like the fragrance, I'd be disappointed that I didn't get the full size bottle, which this almost looks like. When I'm looking at this, the packaging on this, to me, that almost looks like a men's cologne. Um, let's just see what it smells like. Now, cologne and fragrance, it doesn't have to be, they, it can be unisex. You know, people like different smells, so, but it just has a more masculine feel to me. And so, if you're never not sure and you have one of these and you're like, I don't want to, I don't spray it on the card, spray it on the card. And give it a minute. Don't just go in and immediately smell it. Give it a, you know, kind of waft it around a little bit. This definitely has a more masculine note to it. I do not see myself wearing this fragrance at all. Now, Tom Ford Lost Cherry all day long. That smells divine. It smells like heaven. This... I don't think it stinks. I do smell like the marine, you know, like the marine ocean. More of a clean, but man, and, and I smell the amber a little bit, which is kind of giving it a weird twist. This is just not for me. I just, not for me. Glad I sprayed it on the card and not myself. Um, again, Fragrance is so hit or miss as to whether you're going to like it or not. Um, 
again, I don't think it stinks. I don't, I'm not, I'm not smelling it. I'm like, Ugh. but I'm not wowed by it. I'm not like, this is something I, I would not wear. Honestly, if it's something you like, let us know. Tell us why you love it. Um, or let us know what your favorite fragrance is down below. I'm interested to know because fragrance is definitely personal and everybody's is, you know, everybody's got a different opinion on that. Okay. Last and not last but not least. Now this one I think was a freebie. And this is a men's cologne. So I'm gonna give this to the hubby. And this is from Ralph Lauren Polo. Um I don't know if it's got a name on here. I'm gonna I wanna see what it smells like. My husband has so many perfumes, or not perfumes, colognes and stuff. He's like, I'm never going to go through all the cologne that I have because I get so many free samples um, and whatnot. But I'm like, I'm like, babe, you might like it. You might want to wear it all the time. You know, cologne's expensive. Perfume, cologne's expensive. This definitely feels expensive. Definitely, you know, this would look good on a shelf. Um... Let's just see. I'm going sp to spray inside here. Ooh, that smells nice. I'm going to make my husband wear this. Yeah, that smells really good. It just smells manly. Not too overpowering. Not too, not too in your face. I don't know what the notes, the fragrance notes are in this. I don't know if it says... And I can't just pick them out at random, but it, it smells like a really nice men's cologne is what it smells like. <laughs> and again, I'll link that down below as well. So, um, if you are with Influencer, let us know what have you got here recently. Have you gotten anything really great? Um, have you been disappointed by anything you've received? Give us all the details in the comments below. Um, hopefully you give this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, I would absolutely love to have you here. So just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know my videos upload. And with that, have a fabulous day. Bye.